Hey, it's Nick Tuminello. We're back talking more about fighting the sitting position. In the last video, we talked about our top applications for the upper body in regards to help offset some of the negative effects of the sitting position. Now we're going to focus on some of our top lower body applications. A lot of these applications you're already familiar with, it's just the concept of really emphasizing them universally regardless of the clients and athletes that I'm working with. So even though we have individualized programs, this is something that I find that we apply as a general principle across the board. So when it comes to lower body exercise, we're going to emphasize what some people would call posterior chain type exercise. It's really just the back of the body, the hips and the hamstrings, and reversing this slouch position that we all spend too much time sitting. Even if we're active, we still spend too much time sitting. So some of our top exercise applications. RDLs is a great one. So you know what it looks like with a barbell. Let me show you with the kettlebell just from a profile so we can talk about a few things for a few seconds. I'm really emphasizing RDLs. I'm actually a bigger fan of RDLs than regular deadlifts because it really focuses on that hip drive. That's really what I'm getting at. Reversing that hip flexed position here. All right? So we also could do single leg variations. I really like these because we get a double whammy. Not only do we get hip extension here, but we get hip extension on that back leg, keeping it straight and in line with our body. Notice, show you from this side, notice if I'm balancing on the right leg, I'm using my left hand. If I use right leg, right hand, it wants to turn me like that. It's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking to mimic the same position how I walk or run. See, here and here, that's what I'm looking at. So opposite side, right there. So I see a good contraction there coming up. It's a hip hinge. And then we also have our hip bridges. We also have our hip thrusts. So what we have is single leg is good. Double leg is normally too easy for most people. So we'll go single leg. Here's a little sequence that you can use to really ensure that you're getting the glute. Take your other hand, straight elbow, and now I'm driving my knee against my palm of my hand, like this, right? So if I let my hand go, my knee would come up. This is straight, not bent. These two are fighting as I do my hip bridges. And that really gets that glute to fire a little better. Nothing magic, no secret corrective exercise tricks or anything like that. All we're doing is just capitalizing on this reciprocal hip movement. As I go into flexion here, I have to go into extension here. So we're forcing flexion here, which encourages more extension on there. So there's lots of good other, there's lots of great other exercise applications, excuse me. There's lots of other great exercise applications for reversing the sitting position and focusing on hip extension versus hip flexion. I just gave you some of the three that I find that I use most often with, with most clients and athletes. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So there's lots of great exercise applications that you could use for emphasizing the hips and hamstrings and for focusing on hip extension, reversing that sitting position, which is flexed. I gave you my top three, the three that I find we most use with clients and athletes of, of different levels. All we do is modify the weight according to their strength and ability.